Hi guys, this is Connie. We're back for some more Connie Reads, Lawn Boy Returns. We are on chapter four, titled The Prudence of Adding Personnel to Manage Material and Financial Well-Being. I'm glad you asked, Arnold beamed at Alan, since everyone will be initially part-time. They'll set up shop in my house. I'm not a proponent of wasting money on rent, so until we can find a solid building to buy to accommodate the administrative portions of the operations, as well as to create equity through property ownership, I think we should keep reinvesting the profits in stocks and focus on expanding the employee base. Well, sure, when he put it like that, I could see that I was never going to become a preteen real estate mogul if I wasted earnings by renting rather than buying. Like, I had a clue. But Alan nodded like he'd wrestled with the rent versus buy dilemma every day. And Kenny was sliding his chair closer to Savannah. Arnold turned to them and, as if he'd somehow known that I'd be bringing my buddies to this meeting and had a plan in mind, said, I'm glad to have you two on board. I'm glad to have you two on board at this critical point of the development and extension of the brand. Alan, I'd like you in-house in -house to help keep things running here at the command post. And Kenny, if you could work in the field with Pasquale and Louise to assist the yard crews, that'd be far out. Here's a laptop. Arnold handed me a shiny silver rectangle. I loaded it with our bookkeeping, scheduling, word processing, and address book programs. The systems are linked between the six of us and the entire network is password protected. Gib will look after your, Gib will look after your things so you can con concentrate on the lawn mowing operation and, of course, school in the fall. He's right. I can't worry about the phases of my operations when I've got a trig test to study for. Trig looms in my life like a mathematical uh, predatory beast. Savannah and I will set up quarterly tax payments and establish a trust to protect your savings and start your college account. And, of course, a retirement plan. I've been wondering, at 12, about my retirement. Lindy's drawing up articles of incorporation, which will protect your personal assets from any real or perceived vulnerabilities or liabilities of a professional nature. Can a seventh grader sign legal documents? My parents won't even let me buy the super hyper energy drink at the convenience store. And, Arnold said, since you're a minor, we'll set up your parents with powers of attorney. I've already talked to them about some financial issues and they're up to speed but this will legalize the situation. I hoped mom would be in charge of whatever the power of attorney thing was. Dad is great, but he's an inventor, and he'd probably tune out while he sketched gigantic catapults and estimated the tensile strength required for a bungee cord to send a one-man glider into orbit. Dad gets carried away with his inventions. Mom's a math teacher, so she zeroes right in on things. Frank will be the go-to guy for everyone. He'll liaise with all the divisions and serve as the point man between key players. He'll input and update all the facts and figures and forward you and the team weekly status reports. Liaise? What kind of word was that? I studied Arnold while he passed around matching leather notebooks. A funny little round man in hippie clothes with a mind like a steel trap. That's right. Uh-huh. It didn't look like I needed to stay for the next part of the meeting. Thanks, everyone. I stood. Let's go, I said to Kenny and Alan. But Alan was making noises in the notebook I'd left on the table. He looked right at home. Kenny leaned toward Savannah. How do you start a college fund? It had to be the first time Kenny had even thought about college. As I was halfway out the door, Arnold handled me, handed me a new Blackberry. Check this regularly, okay? We'll meet up with everyone tonight at Joey Powell's Big Fight. Sitting together in the sponsor's box will be a bonding experience for the team. Bonding. Team. Sure. Kenny's eyes popped. You sponsor a prize fighter? Alan flipped to the section in the notebook that covered Joey. 
His lips moved when he read, though, so I knew he was a little rattled by all this news. I drove home and into the garage, shut the door, and sat down on my or sat on my lawnmower in the dim light to think. Some people take yoga classes or meditate, but for me, sitting on the lawnmower helps make sense of things. There's something about looking at the picture of the turtle and the rabbit on the throttle that puts everything in perspective. Right now, my life was in rabbit mode. If Mr. Bunny had been taking human growth hormones and was overly caffeinated. And that's the end of chapter four. Be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I will see you for the next installment. Have a great one. Bye.